In this live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this version, look in the video description for a lesson playlist where you can learn the fundamentals of the game. Also, download this player reference so that you can learn the scoring. On the back is also a brief description of how to play the game. If you do not see the word live at the top of the screen, you're watching the repost. I hope you enjoy the live stream session. It's going to be a little more social than the strategy theory videos. If you like less interaction with viewers, you might enjoy those strategy theory sessions where I just do commentary. If you're interested in just Hong Kong Mahjong, look for videos that are in green and white. The thumbnails for Hong Kong Mahjong are in green and white. We're going to go live. I hope you enjoy the session. Anytime I look to the left, I'm checking out live chat. So bear with me. We've got good stream health. We're live. Welcome to the live stream. We are going to be playing Hong Kong Mahjong at Mahjong time. If you're new to Mahjong time and you would like to try it out for free at the VIP level, send me an email and I can send you a 30 day VIP code. We're going to start by playing at an eight fawn table. Now, when you're new to the game and just learning, I recommend that you play at a zero fawn table because you can play any four sets in a pair. No, no score required. You can play a chicken hand. All you need is four sets in a pair or four blocks in a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence, which is called a chow, or three of a kind, or four of a kind, pung and kong, respectively. The makeup of your hand is what is going to determine your score and that's what this is for so if you haven't downloaded the player reference you want to do that so you can learn the scoring because when you're ready you could play at an eight point minimum table that's where you need three fawn to win you got to know the scoring or else you could get a false mahjong that won't be any good you don't want to do that trust me you don't want to do that so we are going to start by playing at a three font table. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Marnie. Oh yes, let's play. So we're gonna play first at a table where we need eight points. That equates to three font. If you don't have this player reference, make sure you download it so you can follow along because I'm gonna be refer referring to it. The scoring for Hong Kong Mahjong is relatively easy to learn. It's, it's a very limited list. So that's why I always say if you're brand new to Mahjong, that's the first style that you probably want to learn. Unless, of course, the people in your community play another version. But if you're brand new to Mahjong and you don't know anybody who plays, Hong Kong Mahjong is the best place to start. It really is the easiest version to learn of all Mahjong styles because the scoring has been simplified. All you really need is four blocks and a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence or three of a kind, or four of a kind because there are four of every tile. So you can have three in a sequence, which is called a chow, three of a kind or four of a kind, pung and kong respectively. Four blocks and a pair, and it can be made up of any of those types of blocks, chows or pungs or kongs. Once you get there, you can win. Now, the kicker is if there's a minimum, if there is a zero point minimum, your combinations could be whatever you want, four blocks and a pair, doesn't matter. When you play at an eight point minimum, you have to have three fawn. That's why you need to know how to score your hand. All right, let's join a table. So we're gonna look for an eight point table I'm hoping to play in a quick table here. Here's a zero point. Here's a zero point. All right, just so we don't have to wait 
Let's play a zero point table. This is what I call a chicken hand table. Let's see what happens. When you play at this kind of a table, oh, what happened? Everybody left. There's a practice table where you have 15 seconds to make a decision. That's good if you're brand new to the game, but I don't want to delay the live stream, so we're not going to play there. Let's play at the eight point table unless another or zero, zero minimum points. If an eight point table opens up in time, we can jump there. So Marnie, do you know how to play Hong Kong Mahjong? And anybody else in the live stream, say hi in chat so that I know you're watching. And then also, if you're brand new to Mahjong, write pound new or Hong Kong Mahjong anyway because that's what we're focused on tonight. Right, pound new. And I, I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have about Hong Kong Mahjong or Mahjong in general. Okay, so Marnie says she's learning, excellent. Now Marnie, do you have any background in Mahjong? Do you know any other versions? Yes, Hong Kong Mahjong is very fast and it's very flexible. You wanna try to be ready to win in six discards. And really knowing the point minimum is key because if you have a zero point minimum, it's no holds barred. You just want to win as quick as you can, regardless of what your score is. And that is really hard for me because I like playing big hands. So my temptation is to get score. Hi, Peggy. Welcome to the live stream. Good to see you here. Peggy is a Mahjong enthusiast. She knows several styles. Okay, so Marnie is learning MCR and National Mahjong League. Okay, there are a lot of different scoring elements that MCR adopted from Hong Kong Mahjong. So you can totally play at a table for Hong Kong Mahjong if you know MCR. If you have an account at Mahjong Time, come and play. We're waiting for players. We can't play without a four-player table. So if you're new to the game, if you're new to Mahjong, write pound new. Okay, we've got three. We need one more player, and then we can start the game. Here we go. We're playing at a chicken hand table. No score. Okay, this is hard for me because I always want to play a big hand. I think that comes from my American Mahjong training or experience, I should say. We're going to pung, and we're going to win chow win. at will. East wind. Let's see what we can do. We've got hmm. we've got a pair of ones, a pair of sevens. Seven okay, we're gonna pung. Hmm. We're just gonna. It, it's really more about speed. And when you play at a zero point table, you want to West discard wind. isolated tiles. I think that's going to be the key. One character. So everything we have right now is one tied dragon. in. We have lots of potential. The one is a pair, so I don't want to use that with a potential chow, so I discarded the three. Oh, Marnie, it's okay. I get beat all the time, trust me. Especially MCR and Ricci. Oh my goodness, I take a licking. I'm just telling you now. But try not to be discouraged because failure is the best teacher. I have a, a saying here printed it One says, bamboo. oh, we're going to pung. Hmm. Okay, side weight, two, three, edge weight, eight, nine, side weight, two, three. So we have lots of side weights. We're going to get rid of nine, the bamboo. edge weight. Side weights are more efficient and more likely to complete. Green, green, so that's why I got rid of the nine crack, because that's an, a chow with an edge dots. weight, seven, eight, nine. We need a seven. Nine, All these others are side weights. Eight now here we still need a pair. We have a chow, two, three, four. We need Nine one more dots. chow, and then we need to pair up and we'll be ready to win. One character. We've had one, two, three, four discards. Okay, there's our pair. We two are ready dots. to win on a five bam or an eight bam. Hmm. Okay, so the saying I was alluding to, the greatest teacher hmm. failure is eight Yoda. Mahjong. So it's okay 
to lose because you can learn and try not to get discouraged. I know it's easier said than done. Okay, we won. That was a quick mahjong, so the game is over. I hope that gave you an idea of what it's like to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Four sets and a pair of anything when you play at a zero fawn table or zero minimum points. The reason why this is basically the value of this hand is zero is because we mixed pungs with chows in different suits. That's the reason why it is a low value hand. So the only reason why we have one fawn or one point really, fawn means point at this, in this GUI, in this interface, it's really a point. So, or a fawn which converts to a point. So we had one fawn, which is no flowers. If you have no flowers in Hong Kong Mahjong, you get a fawn. So we have eight points. So let's see, don't be afraid to lose. Let's see if we can find another table. Okay, here is, here's another zero point table. I wanna see if there's an eight point table so you can see the difference. Here's one with two players. You get 10 seconds. It is, an, it is a quick mahjong. Let's see if we can join that. Okay, now this one, you have to have three fawn to win. The go-to combinations for three fawn is a half flush where you have one suit with winds and dragons, any combination, or all pung. And having mixed suits is just fine. So those are kind of two go-tos if you're at an eight point minimum. Let's see here. We need one more player. There's Another table for a quick mahjong at zero points. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. Welcome to the live stream. If you're just joining, we're playing Hong Kong mahjong at mahjong time. Okay, we need three fawn or eight points minimum. Six bamboos. Eight point minimum, which is three fawn. I don't really get this eight point versus fawn. I, I don't know. All right, nevertheless, we have a pair of threes in dots. Single honors. Honors are winds and dragons. We have mostly bams. So, by one tile, by the way, I think we're gonna wait and see what happens because if we draw a crack, <laughs> we'll have the same number of cracks and bams. Four dots. Four dot. Okay, we're not going to take that. We need to get score. When you play at a, let's see here, let's discard five dot. Five when dot. you play at a table where there is a point, like eight point minimum, you have to have score. That's where this player reference comes in and all these scoring elements. You've got to know the scoring elements so that you're sure to have enough score to qualify to win. Otherwise, you'll do a false mahjong and lose. We don't want that to happen. So we're, we're kind of in between bams and cracks. The three dots are probably going to have to go. We need to draw well here. I think we're an underdog on this hand. So we've got a pung out. One bamboo. The sideways tile, if you don't know, indicates who discarded it. Okay, here we drew a crack. Bams, cracks. Let's sacrifice the three. Three dots. It's the only pair we have. Half flesh is three fawn. That's the best way to go. Four bamboos. Half flesh, even though we have single honors. We're a bit of an underdog on this Eight hand. Characters. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the three. Three dots. The bams, we have one extra compared to the cracks. Nine but dots. we do have chow potential. One, two, three, chow. five, six, seven, or seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. So six I think chow. next we can discard the one or the nine in cracks. We'll see chow. what we draw. Three characters. We've got a seven. Okay, 
we have to choose. Let's get rid of the one. It's one isolated here, here. anyway. We're still kind of in between, and we really don't have to decide yet. Ciao. Seven dots. We're kind of trailing behind with this hand because of the way we were given our tiles, kind Four of mixed dots. suits. It's a challenge when you have Two a dots. point minimum. You've got to figure out a way to get score. So the player across from us is probably playing dots and honors, half flesh. The players to the right and left could be in those suits, cracks and bams respectively, with honors. Usually you'll see half flesh as a very common way to go. So let's go ahead and give up these cracks since we have bams now. We have a long way to go, actually. Six dots. Does anybody have any questions Four about characters. Hong Kong Mahjong? Don't forget Eight to look dots. in the video description below so that you can learn the scoring elements. There are no honors out yet, no wins or dragons. And here's Seven the thing bamboos. about that. The honors can bring value to your hand, and that's why you don't see any discarded right now. When you're playing at a chicken hand table, you'll see these discarded. But when you're playing where there's a point minimum, people will tend to hold honors for value for, value for their hand. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. Your seat wind or the wind of the round will bring score to your hand. It is the east mm. round and we're in north seat. So this east can bring value to our hand. East wind. Okay, so someone just threw an east. Nobody wanted it. So we need to get rid of these cracks so right good. away because the player to my right is in cracks. So I want to Seven discard seven. those before they're ready to claim them Ten. like that. So now they have three blocks Ten. in Ten. cracks. At this point, I'm kind of thinking we should play defense and keep the cracks. I do not want to discard the winning tile. Let's see what happens. White dragon. Five dot is a good discard. There are two out. At some point, you have to decide if you want to fold or play to win. And in this case, I'm kind of thinking we should fold because the player to my right has three of their blocks already out. They only need two more. And we have cracks, they're in cracks. Let's see what happens here. There's one, two dot out. Okay, now same thing with the player across from us. Dots are gonna be of value. Let's discard BAMs. We're just gonna discard BAMs and fold. We're gonna fold. So the goal at this point is not to discard the winning tile. The player to my left is in BAMs, but it looks like they have a lot of chows, and you can only chow from the player on your left. So they will not be able to chow from me. They will be able to pung, though. There are two Easts out. That will be a safe discard, probably. There are two Green Dragons out. That should be safe. Okay, there's a White Dragon. Let's discard eight bam. Eight bamboos. That was just discarded recently. So my goal is not to win. My goal is to not discard the winning tile win. at the moment. So this east will be a good Three discard. Characters. We eight have dots. five more picks to get through. Okay, so the next good discard should be a green dragon. One bam is good. Red dragon. Six bam should be good. There are two of all of these Four out. Dots. So we're going to discard Green that. Dragon. We're going to discard safe tiles. We have four more picks each. There's no way we can win. Five bamboos. So we're playing defense. Okay, that will be a good discard, maybe. Somebody's thinking about yeah. it. Okay, they punged. So this will be Six a really bam. good discard. Six bam was just discarded. That will be a good discard too. So I want to try to push a wall game where nobody wins. That's my goal. Three dots. That was a risky discard. 
Anytime you have nine blocks in one suit, that's called gaojung, which six means gaojung. nine showing. And in home games, a lot of home games will say if you discard the winning tile when somebody has gaojung and they're in one suit, you have to pay for the whole table as a penalty. At mahjong time, that's, that rule doesn't apply. But it is a big red flag when somebody has three exposures yeah. in one suit. Okay, now that's even more in, important. Okay, we're not throwing away any of these tiles. Let's get rid of the red dragon. Red dragon. I don't want to get rid of any bams either because they the player Two to my characters. left needs a bam. No matter how no I slice this, it's going to be risky. There are no wests out. Okay, south, there are two. South, that yes. should be safe. There's one white dragon out. Okay, they self-picked a win. Oh, the player across from us was in one whole suit, one suit, full flesh. Here, we have a half flesh. So, in this case, they self-picked, so we all pay. One suit, half flesh, with a pung of wins. Over here, they were playing a full flesh. That would have been expensive. Over here, they needed a west. And guess what? We had a west. I did not want to throw that west. All right. I hope that gave you an idea of how to play defense. When you fold, you want to watch discards and exposures and make your decisions accordingly. All right. Let's see if we can join another table here. Let's see where the openings are. I don't really want to join a full round. I kind of want to join quick mahjongs so we can talk in between. There's a lot of zero, let's see, zero point tables. I guess that'll be fine. All right, let's join this one here. Okay, chicken hand table. Let's see, here we go. It's going to be quick. Four blocks and a pair. You can have three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind. Okay, we have lots of dots, and we have a pair of white dragons. Any pung or three of a kind of a dragon is worth a fawn. So we're actually set up really nicely for a half flesh. We also have a potential chow with the three, four. Welcome to the live stream if you're just joining. We're playing Hong Kong Mahjong at Mahjong time. If you don't already know, you can download this through a link in the player or the description under the video. This is a player quick reference with all the scoring in it. We're playing at a zero point table, so in this case it really doesn't matter. But when you play at a table where there's a fawn minimum, that matters. So here we kind of have a mixture now. We have pears and chow potential, hmm. both. Six bamboo. The pears, any pear can be a potential pung. Nine dots. So we can pung and chow at will here. East wind. And that's because we're playing Nine at a wind. zero fawn table. We have two flowers. The numbers Nine on the flowers wind. is what gives you value, depending on where you're seated. Here we're in North Seat, which is bamboos. player four. If we get a number four flower, we get a fawn for that. Right Chow. now, there is a four flower out that I can see. Let's see, four. There's one of, yeah, both Bamboos. our flowers are out. Let's chow. chow. And then let's get rid of the nine. Nine bam. Nine bam. So now I'm, I'm hoping that we can play a half flesh. I would love to play for a higher value hand, but... We do have a potential Pung with the 7 and a potential Nine Chow three. with a 3-4 crack. But since you can seven play, bamboo. we'll just Pung. We'll just play mm. for a win and and let it go. Two dots. When you play at a zero font table, that's what people do. Just any combination at all. Six characters. So we're ready to Pung or Chow. chow. We're one away from a win here. Two bamboos. I'd love to get this One dragon because that's a fawn. We don't have any bams to go with that. Three bamboos. We need to pung the five, pung the white, or we could chow the three, four, and pung the white. Nine characters. Or we could 
chow the three four and pung the five and let the whites be our pair. Six characters. Four blocks and a pair. That's what you need. Two characters. We'll chow. Chow. And we'll discard the white or the red, red dragon. dragon and we're ready to win on a what's called a double weight. This is where we need a five dot or a white dragon Six to win. Characters. Either one will give us a win and that's why it's called a double weight. One dot. Either one will give us a win and we'll take it. Five bamboos. West wind. Three dots. A lot of times people will hold dragons for Two score. Dots. So we may never Ten. see that dragon. Four dots. Two dots. Somebody else could be holding a pair of dragons and it'll be a stalemate. Nine characters. In this case, we have a double weight, so we could win Eight on the five. Three. One bamboo. We don't need that. Four characters. Mahjong. Oh, they won. Who knew? They have two different suits with chows. So they had a chow hand. All chow. One, two, three, and bams, four, five, six, and cracks, two, three, four, and dots, seven, eight, nine, and bams with a pair of ones. That's an all chow hand. And since I threw it, I pay a penalty. All right. Anybody have any questions about Hong Kong Mahjong? Just write it in the comments section. All right. Let's see if there are any four, eight point tables available here. Let's join one. Oh, that's a round. I really don't want to have a, a full round. Let's see here. I'm just going to create one. We'll call it Yellow Mountain. Yellow Mountain. We'll just make it 250. And we'll say eight, eight point minimum. No, let's let's just make it. Let's see what's the average here. Seven fifty. What is the average? Two fifty seven. Two fifty. It really doesn't matter, I guess. Let's make it welcoming and create two fifty dragon chips. Create game. Okay, uh, create game. Well, where did it go? Okay, Yellow Mountain. That was strange. It did. Usually it automatically seats you at the table. Okay, so let's see if we can get some people joining us here. There is a chicken hand table that plays a full round. I really don't want to do that because you never know how long those are going to go. For Hong Kong Mahjong East, who's also known as the dealer, looks like we have Plet at the table. Welcome Plet. And we have another player. Anyhow, when East gets the dice, they roll the dice, break the wall, deal the tiles, and then you play the game. If East wins, they keep the dice. If they lose, the dice go to the next player, and so on. When the dice get back to the original East, you play another round. So the game is played in rounds. East round, south round, west round, north round. So if East keeps winning, they keep the dice. So you never know how long those games are going to be. That's why I don't like to play at the round tables, because you never know how long you're going to be committed to that table. When you play a quick mahjong, it's just one game. So here we need eight fawn or eight points, which is basically, three I believe, characters. three fawn. I think three fawn is what you need here. So I think we should play a half flush with cracks. We are in north seat. We have lots of cracks and a pair of west. Let's get rid of the dots. Three and dots. then we're going to get rid of these bams. And we're going to hold cracks no matter what number it is because we can chow and pung 
all we Zero want. Bamboos. As long as you have one suit with winds and dragons, it doesn't matter what, what the different blocks are. So we can Pung the one, Pung the four, Pung the west. We need some help here with the dragons and the six Green nine. Characters. So let's Pung there. Pung. Delayed reaction there. And we'll get rid of the bams. Bamboos. We have two more pair that we can act on. Seven the six bamboos. nine are isolated. The dragons are singles. Eight dots. Red dragon. We don't want dots. One dot. We need cracks. We're playing a half flesh, which is three fawn. Chow. And I believe that equates to eight Five points. Characters. Five dots. Nine bamboo. There's a crack. Eight bamboo. Now we could do a one three crack. Seven characters. For a chow, like one, two, three. Or we could maybe pung the one. I'd rather pung. So right now, I'm kind of considering One that three at isolated. Nine dots. So we'll see. We could chow or pung. Chow. chow with the one three, pung with the one. Four characters. So we have two Six blocks out in one suit. So any dot hmm. discarded is going to be a challenge for that player from me. I'm hoping One not bamboo. to draw dots. We're going to get rid of One these bamboo. bams. Hopefully, I won't Six draw any bamboo. dots because they're going to be risky. Risky discards. Five characters. Nine bamboo. We need cracks. Oh, one. One dot. Hold your breath. Okay, they didn't need it. Eight bamboos. A lot of times if they have a chow out with the tile that you're about to discard, Two characters. more times than not they don't need it because they already used what they had for one of their exposures. It's not always the Five case though. Bamboos. We got a crack. Eight bamboos. So now there's chow potential with six, seven, nine. Three bamboos. There is a red dragon out. No, no green dragons are out. Five characters. So since the red dragon is out, that might be a good discard. The number tiles are much more flexible because you can chow or pung. So I want to hold the number tiles. Five characters. Okay, let's chow. Chow. We'll discard the red dragon. Red dragon. We can pung Two characters. the three and the one, and then we'll be waiting on a pair. I would still like to draw more cracks though. One dot. Red dragon. Four bam should be Four safe. Bamboos. Unless they pung. You can pung from anybody. Pung. Oh, there's a Kong. Kong is kind of like a pung, four of a kind. But they stack One it, dragon. so it's technically a three of a kind. South is out. Let's discard south. South wind. There are still no One green dragons bamboo. out. I don't want to hold on to that for too long though. We should Seven get rid of that dots. pretty quick because that could be a tile Four that people dots. are holding on to for score. So we're going to get rid of that. Green dragon. Okay, we're doing good now. We have a potential Pung, a potential Nine Chow, dots. and a pair. Let's see. We're one away from ready at this point. One character. We'll, we'll Pung. Pung. And now, West oh, wind. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to discard the nine crack. Seven Oops. Dots. Oh, shoot. I just killed my pair. All right, we'll go for a full flush. <laughs> I meant to hold on to that for a pair. That was a boo-boo. Eight characters. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, let's discard the west. Wind. There are no north's out. Oh, shoot. I just totally... Totally Four dots. biffed my hand. <laughs> I could have been ready to win. That's all right. Maybe Seven we can go dots. for a full flush. 
Okay, eight we'll discard that is. eight. All right. <laughs> oh, eight shoot. Dots. That would have been a good pair. We could have been ready to win. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Let's see if we can draw a nine. Eight characters. Nine crack, please. Oh. Three bandages. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, Long Island. Thank you. <laughs> oh shoot, I just clicked the wrong darn tile. Alright, moving on. Six dot com. Okay, we need a nine crack or a north. Three characters. Oh, we keep drawing Six bams. Characters. Oh. Well, at least nobody threw a two crack yet two because characters. oh, <laughs> That was our winning tile. Two if we had years. that West, we would have won at this point. Shoot. Darn it. Anyway. Okay, North was just discarded. Hmm. All right, there's a Pung, so that's a, a safe discard Green now. Dragon. Okay, there are no nine cracks out. Let's see Two if we can draw years. a nine crack. We got it. <laughs> okay, years. there's one more two crack out. Two characters. There it is. We got it. Mahjong. Mahjong. We got the full flush. I didn't, okay, Marnie, I didn't want a Kong with the one crack because I wanted to use it for a chow. We got the full flush. So we got six fawn because we have only one suit, one suit. I wanted to save that one crack for a chow. And that's one reason why you don't want to be quick to Kong because you can use that fourth tile for a chow. You could always change your mind and Kong later. I can't believe we got that though. Oh my goodness. That was painful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's... Oh, somebody already played at the table. I should have clicked play again. Darn it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can... Okay, Long Island, you have no idea how to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Okay, first thing, download this player reference. There's a link in the video description below. This has all the scoring in it. It's relatively easy. It is the easiest version of Mahjong to play. It's a lot like Remy. You need to have four blocks and a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence. That's called a chow. Or you can have three of a kind, which is called a pung. Or you can have five or four of a kind. That's called a kong. So you can have a Chow, Pung, or Kong, four blocks and a pair. And then whatever the makeup of your hand on, whatever the combination is, that will determine your score. When you play at a zero point table, you see here this column, MP, that's the minimum points required to win. If you play at a zero point table, you, you don't have to worry about scoring. You just play to win four blocks and a pair of anything. So that's the best kind of table to play at if you're new to the game. If you are trying to rank up and you want to win with value, then you want to play at eight point minimum tables. So let's see what we have available and we'll go into a game so you can see how it's played. So here's a minimum point zero with an available seat. We're gonna play and Long Island, you can see how to play. We need four blocks and a pair. They could be three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind, because there are four of every tile. There are three suits numbered one through nine. There are dragons, red, white, and green, that you see right here. And then there are four winds, east, south, west, and north. And there are four of every tile. There are also bonus tiles that are called flowers. Oh if you get a flower with your number on it, you get score for that, a fawn. Let's play chows. We're gonna try to do all chow, all three in a sequence. So we wanna keep number tiles. These single dragons will not help you if you have number tiles, two through eight. Okay, we're gonna chow. There's, a, there's our first chow, one, two, three. So that's our first block. We need four more and a pair. So you can see here we have a one, two, that is a potential chow with a three. We have a chow right here, four, five, six. So we're gonna hold that. North wind. There's a two, 
we pair it up with a two. Let's get rid of this isolated Green or dragon. single dragon. So here we have a two five hmm. and then a seven eight. Those are potential chows there. The two is isolated, West so that will be a good discard. There's another five. Two dots. So we have a potential chow Red with dragon. seven eight or five seven. We have a potential chow with a one two. We already have a chow with a four five six. East so wind. this is looking good for all chow. Red dragon. Does that help, Long Island? Red I hope dragon. that helps with how to play Mahjong. And that's the basic Seven way to play the game across the board. There are actually 40 ways to play Mahjong, and that is the basic way to play Mahjong. Every other version Seven has this similar uh, conventions, I guess you could say. Let's see, the nine is isolated. Nine bamboo. Okay, easier than American. Yeah, it is very, very flexible. You, you are not confined to specific hands. You make your hand the way you want to. So if we take that four, I, we're not going to take that. There's, there's a saying that I hope can help. It is, don't break a chow to make One a chow. Bamboo. That's what I was taught, but I add on to that. Green don't bamboo. break a chow to make a chow if it leaves an isolated tile. If you break a chow to make a chow and it leaves you with a potential chow or pung, go for it. That five bam would have left us with an isolated tile, so I didn't take it. So here we have a pair, a chow, four, five, six. Now we have a seven there. Let's get rid of the five. So here we have a pair with the two bam. Here's a four, five, six. Oh, somebody got a win out of that. Bummer. It's kind of hard to tell. They have two fawn, Punga dragons, and their their flower. So they are in they are in east seat, which is player one. They have a flower with a one on it, and that's why they got two fawn. The makeup of their hand is the dragon. That's where they got their value. A punga dragons is a fawn. The rest of their hand has no value because they mixed chows with pungs in different suits. So let's see if we can look at everybody else's hand. Here we have a potential half flesh where you have dots with winds and dragons. That's called a half flesh. And any combination of one suit with winds and dragons is called a half flesh. That's three fawn. So they were playing a higher point hand. They were one away. They needed to chow. They, had, they were set up for chows, but they didn't have a pair. Okay, then here... It looks like they were trying for all chow. They have five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight with a pair of fives. They have an isolated three. They have five, six, seven chow and cracks. Potential chow with the five, six pair of eights. So it looks like they were playing a chicken hand or maybe an all chow hand. And then of course here we were trying for all chow. So I hope that helps anybody who is new to the game. Julius says, I only remember Ricci EMA rules. Tried Hong Kong a couple times. If you can play Ricci, you can totally play Hong Kong Marshong. It's very, very simple comparatively. So you don't have, um, for Ricci players, you do not have Furiton, no Furiton rule. So you can discard, change your mind, win on your discard um, that maybe you threw earlier. There's no accountability there. So it's very flexible in that way. And plus, you discard randomly, so nobody really knows what you're doing unless they have a stellar memory and watch your discards. So Hong Kong Mahjong is very, very flexible. And if you play at a zero fawn table, even more so, because it doesn't matter what combination your blocks are. You can have chows, pungs, doesn't matter. And you can mix suits too. You don't have to have any value to your hand. You can just win with any four blocks and a pair. All right, so let's see if we can join another table. Let's see if we can join something with a higher point minimum because there, there's a difference. The game is a little different uh, because people are going for value and it's a bit of a longer game. 
And a lot of times what you'll find is that people tend to try high point hands and anyone playing a chicken hand with no value will win over someone trying for a high point hand. So depending on the kind of player you are, you might look for an eight point table. If you're brand new to the game, play at the zero point table till you understand the scoring and learn how to build value in your hand. So in this case, we don't have any eight point tables. So I'm gonna create another one because all the eight point tables are full. Wait, there are eight point tables, but they're in rounds. And I, I don't wanna to commit to a round because you never know how long that's gonna last. So let's see. Um, we'll create another table. Hong Kong, oh, let's see, wait, something just changed. Quick Mahjong, no eight points. Okay, we're just gonna create another one. Okay, we'll make it 250 advanced settings and we'll say eight point minimum to win and we need to name it. Uh, um, I've got writer's block. Um, Mahjong Time says it needs Adobe Flash. Okay, you're trying to play through a browser. If you go to, let's see here, download Eon so that you don't have to, you don't have to have Adobe Flash. If you go to Eon, let me put a, let me put a link in here, hold on. So one second and I'll give you a link in chat. Hold on. I need to come up with a name. Uh, okay. We're going to call it Dragon's Breath. <laughs> Create game. We'll see what we get. Okay. Mahjong time. Okay. What happened? Oh, what? Why? What? Okay. Dragon's Breath. <laughs> That's actually a hand in Wright Patterson Mahjong. All right, now. Mahjong Time Eon is the name of the app. Eon Multiplayer. There. Uh oh. Now you see me close up. I'm ready for my close up. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. We're ready to go now. And we do have a player, White Crane. Hey, welcome. Good to see you again. I remember you played with me in the past, so good to see you again. Okay, so Long Island, download that app and uh, you can come and play. And then later, anybody who would like to try it out, I do have 30-day VIP codes. I can send you a 30-day code so you can try it at the VIP level. Mahjong Time has different levels of memberships. You can play for free. You can play at the uh, pre premium level and the uh, VIP level, and there are different benefits to each membership. Hi, Enoch, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, welcome back. Okay, so we're waiting for another player at Dragon's Breath. Okay. So as far as the VIP code, look for my email in the video description below. Send me an email and later after the live stream or sometime tomorrow, I can send you that 30 day VIP code. That way you can try it out for 30 days at VIP. And basically what that means is you, you get 
5,000 dra dragon chips. The dragon chips are the in-game currency. Every time you join a table, you pay an entry fee. And it's anywhere from 250 up to 1,000 dragon chips to play at the table. And those dragon chips you earn if you win. So the more you win, the more you play, etc. It kind of it is cyclical. They pay you a thousand dragon chips in increment, or you, they pay you dragon chips in increments of a thousand, as needed, up to five thousand if you're a VIP member. If you're a premier mem premium member, you get three thousand a day, and if you're a free player, you get one thousand a day. So if you're playing at the free membership, you can have you can play at least three times or four times a day, at if you play at a two fifty table. So, but if you win, you win dragon chips and you can play more. So we're playing at an eight point table. One dot. We're going to pong. That's the only thing we can act on, hmm. actually. Uh, we do have chow potential. Let's go ahead and discard the nine. Nine characters. We have chow potential with the eight, nine. Two. And we have single honors. We're in west seat and it is east round. If you get a pong nine of dangers. your seat wind... West is our seat. We get value Eight for that. Dots. We get score. We just paired up a wind. So we need to get rid of these bands. Okay, let's see. Long Island. I just have a little notebook. Uh, okay, that's fine. You can play on a tablet. Not sure if this is going to run. It'll run. No, you. I play on my iPad all the time. It's fine. You can totally Nine play on your blues. iPad. Go to the, the app store and look yeah. for... Look for uh, Mahjong Multiplayer, I think is what it's called. Mahjong Multiplayer by Jungle Prize, I believe is what it's called. Hold on, I'll, I'll tell you. Mahjong Time Mobile App. I think it's called um, Mahjong Multiplayer or something like that. Mahjong time, Google, let's see, Apple, here we go. More bamboos. Okay, we got a dot, we're collecting all dots. Four okay, bamboos. Mahjong time multiplayer by Jungle Prize. That's Six what bamboos. you want to download uh, if you're on a tablet. I'm going to I'm gonna post this in here. There. So there's the app for Nine mobile bamboos. devices. So we need to get rid of this five bam. And it looks like the eight dots are out. We're gonna either need to use that in a chow or we're gonna let that be our pair. Yeah, you got it, you got it. White dragon. Three bamboos. It's so you it's so it doesn't Five matter bamboos. what what type of tablet you have. It should still work, I believe. Nine dots. Let me know if you have any trouble there, but I Six don't think dollars. it matters what the actual sort of brand or, or platform it is. As long as it's it can run an app, I think you should be okay. Five characters. Oh, we got a nine. That's very Five good. Characters. So we can we could pung and yeah. chow and then pung the south. Hopefully we can still Seven pung months. the nine. Or we can do a double chow, seven, eight, nine. Now there are two One seven dots bamboo. out, so I don't know what the chances are of that. Six dots. Yep, we're gonna chow. Chow. And now we'll discard north. North wind. Three dots. I'm hoping someone will discard the nine dot. North wind. Because we can use the eights for uh, our pair. Bamboo. Seven characters. Let's see if the player to wire. Okay, they're in cracks. I do not want to draw cracks. Now the player to my left, they could be in a bit of trouble if they don't have valued honors Four because dots. they have mixed suit chows. That's going to be hard to overcome. Chow. Uh oh, I. Two mm, they are not going to be able to win West because they mix suits with chows. Oh. Anytime you mix suits with chows, you drive your score down. So they're not going to have enough score to win. West win. You got to have three fun to win. Jungle prize. Okay, we, we've got... Okay, we don't need any of that. Let's get rid of the three. Three dots. Yeah, jungle prize. 
North Wind. Jungle Prize is the name of the pro of the. I, I don't know what you call it. Seller. Eight Jungle bears. Prize Inc. Oh my gosh! Look what we got. Nine South. Let's get rid of the South. We, we're we're going to be ready on a, a full flush here, maybe. Nine characters. Oh no! I just messed up. There are two five dots out. I messed no. up. We need another dot. There are two five dots out. There's only four of every tile. Three we need bamboos. a chow tile in here. Three bamboos. I totally messed up my hand. Sound wind. Okay. Nine characters. Yeah, I, I should not have done that. I should have kept the south and discarded the five. I did not look at the uh, board to see what was discarded. One dot. We need something with the five. We need a, f oh, there's Nine only one more four dot out and there are two six dots out. We need a four or a six very Nine badly. Dots. Oh, let's pung. Pung. Okay. We need, we need a potential chow here. Let's see, what other recourse do we have? If we can get a, a green dragon or a red dragon or an east, we might be able to still make a half flesh work. But that would be a long shot. It would be much better to get a three dot, four dot, or six dot, or maybe even a seven dot. Three, four, seven dot will save us. Seven dots. Oh, Five that's bamboos. the third one out. Oh, no. Oh, I messed this seven one up. Bamboos. Four bamboos. Okay, we need dots. Seven dots. Oh, okay, we're going to get rid of the five. Five dots. We got a red dragon. Two characters. Okay, three, four, five, four, five, six... The sevens are all gone. So if we can get a three, four, or six, we can save this hand. Five bamboos. Three, four, or six is what we want. Six dots. Oh, no. Nine the sixes, there's only one more. Nine bamboos. We need a three, four, or six. I should have kept six that bamboos. south. Five bamboos. One character. White Dragon. Okay, we have two more picks. Three dots. This red dragon is going to be really risky to discard. Two characters. Four characters. We have one more pick. Four characters. I probably will discard the five dot because nobody wanted it. I'm not going to discard that red dragon. Six bamboos. Six characters. Doesn't matter. Two bamboos. Let's hope for a wall game. This was Seven my bamboos. bad. One character. Okay, wall game. I'm glad I didn't throw that red dragon. They were still one of, they were, they had a lot of discards actually. Well, let's go ahead and look at everybody's hand. Well, no, I, I want to click play again because I don't want to lose out on a seat. We're going to play again. Okay. We had a wall game. Let's hope I don't mess this one up now. So we need eight points or three fawn to win. Here we go. If you're just joining us and you don't know about Hong Kong Mahjong, look for this player reference in the video description below so you can follow along and learn how to score. We're playing at an eight point minimum table, so you've got to know the scoring so that you qualify to win. Here, we're going to get rid of the offsuit tiles. We have mostly BAMs. And that's what we're going to play. Bams with winds and dragons. That's called a half flush. We're going to get rid of the cracks. Even though we have a pretty pair, doesn't matter. We're, we have a predominance of bams. And that's what we want to leverage Six here. Dots. So we're going to get rid of the cracks. Three we paired up a wind. We are in Three east seat and it is east round. 
So this pair west is not going to give us any value, but it will help us get to a half flesh. As far as the makeup of the number One tiles, character. we do have child potential with the 2, 3, 5, 7, and even the 8, 9 there. And two we have bands. a pung. If you split it out, though, you can use one of those yeah. for a chow, Four and you can characters. use one for a pair. So you don't have to commit. You don't. You can kind of block it out in your mind, but stay flexible because you every pick can change your hand. Eight characters. So we have two cracks to get rid of before we're cleared to a half flesh, which is three fawn. We are in East Seat. We do have our own flower, so we do have value with our two flower. Characters. We have a, a pung, three two of a bears. kind, of eights, and we have a pair of fives. Chow. We could potentially pung. Now the player across from us has a chow and Six bams. Characters. Most likely they're going to be playing bams with honors. Honors chow. are winds and dragons, so we have competition at the table at the moment. White dragon. So we need to draw well. We need to we need to discard dots Four carefully rings. because the player to my right discard or has a chow, chow with a chow with dots. Now they have two chows out. Five characters. So we want to be careful. Now one of their chows has a five in it. We have two a pair dots. of fives. There are only four of every two tile. Characters. So you have to think about that. You've got to watch not only the discards, but the exposures to modify your plans Four because you've got to be able to have One those tiles in there. So there's a chow. chow. We'll discard the two. two characters. We do have a seven, eight, nine Four chow characters. right there. Seven, eight, nine. Pair of eights. Pair of fives. We also have a pair of West. This North, I think, could be a good discard. We really have everything we need to win. We just need to get there before anybody else. Chow. Uh-oh. They're mixing suits with Chows. One they better have valued honors, or they're going to have a hard time winning this game. So valued Chow. honors would be a Pung of Dragons, or a Pung of Your Seat Wind, or a Pung of the Wind of the Round. Their seat is north, and there's one out. I have one, and the wind of the round is east. Nine dots. We got a green dragon. Let's get rid of the north. I don't want to hold on to this green dragon, though. We really don't need it. We really have everything we need to complete this hand. We really don't need that green dragon. Even though if we pair up and pung, we'll get more value. But the longer you hold it, the more risky it will be. Because people will pair up and be able to pung. Same with this east. This east is going to be a risky discard later in the game. So I want to get rid of it if I'm not going to use it. And I really don't need it. One bamboo. Okay, we got another nine. So we have, we have a chow and a potential chow. Or we have two, we have a potential pung and a potential pung with these pairs. Any pair is a potential pung. You just have to wait for the discards at the moment. So right now we're one away from ready. We'll pung and discard the seven bam. And we're ready to win on either a west or a five bam for a half flesh. The player across from us, uh-oh. Their their number tiles have no value. They will not be able they will not be able to win this game because they don't have enough score. If you're playing at a zero point table, that would be totally fine. But when you're playing at an eight point table, you have to have three fawn to win. And there's no way they will have that value. We gotta win. Mahjong. So this is a half flesh with our own flower. We got five fawn. We have a half flesh, one suit in honors, self-drawn. That's why we got an extra point. And then we have our own flower. So we got five fawn for that particular hand. So let's play again. I, I would analyze the other hands, but I would lose out on my seat. And I want to keep this eight-point table. All right. Any questions about Hong Kong Mahjong? You need four sets in a pair, three in a sequence, or three of a kind. 
And at this table, you've got to have three fawn to win. So if you haven't downloaded this little quick reference, you want to download that so you can learn the scoring elements. And I have a lot of videos on Hong Kong Mahjong. I do what's called random pulls. I play solitaire and I also do strategy theory where I do commentary and play at Mahjong time all with Hong Kong Mahjong. So if you want to learn more about Hong Kong Mahjong, look for videos with a, blue, a green and white thumbnail. That's the color theme that I use for Hong Kong Mahjong. It's really a lot of fun to play and it, it is a great party game. If you ever have a party, get out a set of Mahjong tiles and teach people how to play this game. You can learn how to play Hong Kong Mahjong in 15 minutes, especially if you kind of relate it to Rummy. Any card player, any, any person who likes to play cards will love to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Okay, Gloria Jingles, welcome. Uh, I'm so glad you came. Okay, Marnie asks, have you ever had the Ruby Dragon, Jade Dragon? Oh, sure, absolutely. Those are wonderful hands. There are a lot of special hands, and I've, I've played and won them all, except for Heavenly Hand and Earthly Hand. I have never had a Heavenly Hand or an Earthly Hand, but I have won all those other hands. I've been playing Hong Kong Mahjong since 1990, so... I have played all those and oh gosh, your heart rate goes up when you're playing a special hand. It'd be, it'd be fun if we can do a special hand tonight. I hope we can. Maybe we could try to force one. We'll see. But it, it is a lot of fun to play. And um, what is early, uh, early, you mean what is, an, what is a heavenly hand? or an earthly hand. What is an earthly hand? Okay, a heavenly hand is when you get your drawn tiles and you have a win already. Four blocks and a pair, done. That's called a heavenly hand. And that's when East wins with their dealt hand. It's very, very rare. It's like a once in a lifetime situation. An earthly hand is when East discards and any other player at the table wins on that very first discard. Earthly hand, when you win on discard by East. And a heavenly hand is when East wins with their dealt hand. Either way, those are 10, 10, 10 fawn, which is the max. 10 fawn is the max fawn count. You had seven pair, seven pair. Oh yeah, that's, oh, that's fun. It really gets your heart rate up. And the thing about seven pair is you're always tempted to switch to all pung, all three of a kind but you just have to hold on. If you get five pair, try for seven pair, but the temptation to pung is totally there. And it's really very situational. You have to look at what is out on the table, what's been discarded, what's been exposed to make your decision on whether to fold on seven pair and go for all pung or whether to hold out and try for that seven pair. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jingles or Gloria says, that she has had a heaven, an earthly hand one time. What version were you playing? American Mahjong? Or were you playing uh, Hong Kong Mahjong? That's amazing regardless. Uh, so anyway, I was talking a minute ago about uh, uh, playing Mahjong at your next party. If you ever have a party, birthday party, whatever, anniversary, or whatever kind of celebration you might be having, get a Mahjong set and then have a bunch of these available and teach people how to play Hong Kong Mahjong. It would be a great conversation piece. It would really add life to the party and uh, people love it. it. It's really quite easy to learn. So as far as buying the set, you can purchase a Hong Kong Mahjong set at Yellow Mountain. There should be a link in the video description below for where to buy your, yeah, I have a link for a uh, Hong Kong Mahjong set at Yellow Mountain. And, um, okay, so Gloria said she won an earthly hand at American Mahjong. That's fabulous. Um, so anyhow, uh, yeah, buy a Mahjong set. It, they're, they're um, you know, 
a little more expensive than a deck of cards, but it's worth it because it's kind of novel. You know, not everybody plays Mahjong, so it is a, a great conversation piece and uh, people tend to get excited about learning something new. So if you have a party coming up, I hope you give it a try and you'll have to let me know if you did it and if people liked it and enjoyed it. And there are videos where I go through the whole lesson of how to play the game. And if you teach people how to play Hong Kong Mahjong the same way that I go through the lessons, they will learn really quickly. So anybody have any questions about Hong Kong Mahjong while we're waiting? Since we're waiting here, I think we should go ahead and, and jump to another table. We're just waiting a little too long. We'll play at a chicken hand table. Uh, White Crane, come join us at the chicken hand table. Oh, we missed her. Bummer. Okay, here we go. No, seven pairs for, for fawn. Oh, that's okay, Cypher. No worries. Look for a link in the video description below so you can download this player reference. It's a really short list. You can learn how to play really quickly. So here we're playing at a chicken hand table, zero point minimum. We can win with anything. Chows, pungs, kongs, doesn't matter. So we're going to get rid of the honors. Single honors will do you no good. You've got to pair up and pung, three of a kind. So since they're singles, it's going to be a hindrance. Number tiles are much more flexible because you can chow or pung. The honors, wins and dragons, you can only pung. There are, there's no such thing as a chow with winds and dragons. So we're going to hold all number tiles and get rid of the single winds and dragons. And we have chow potential with every one of these tiles except for the two crack. So that's what we're going to discard after the south. North wind. Okay. Now, everything is tied in. Everything has a potential for a pung or a chow. We have an isolated two cracks, so that's what we're going to discard next. One dot. Unless, of course, we draw a tile that ties in with the two crack. But we can chow. We can play an all chow hand, which is one fun. Nine bamboos. Red dragon, no, it's single. Can't do much with a single dragon. Hmm. And you don't want to hold on to those for long because if they were waiting to win on that and we held it late in the game, we Eight would be paying. Characters. We're going to chow. Huh. Oh, okay. This is interesting. If you chow on a discard and somebody wants to pung, the pung takes precedence. So we lost. We got robbed. Six characters. But now we can chow. Chow. So six one half dozen the other. Two characters. And we discarded a two crack, which was isolated. Huh. We're going to try for an all chow hand if we can. Three characters. Now the five nine Pung. are both isolated. And our, our opponent Seven to the right points. has cracks. So we want to discard those right away. I do not want to hold on to cracks. I want to get rid of them before they set up. Nine characters. So that nine crack was isolated. Now we have the potential for a, a pung with the five. Pung is three, three of a points. kind. Chow is three in a sequence. Eight bamboos. Okay, there's a six. We have a potential chow in there now. Let's discard the five. five characters. So now we have six five, six, five, six, two, three. Seven characters. The one bams could be our pair. We have three side weights. The eight, nine is what's called an six edge weight. Bamboos. We're waiting on the, the tile on the edge Sound to complete it. Seven, eight, nine. That's weaker than a side eight weight bamboos. where you have a five, six and you can win on a tile Child. for on either side Three of those bamboos. two tiles. That's called a side weight, and that is better than an edge weight. So in this case, we've got a winner. Let's see what they have. Dragon Pung, 
and no flowers. Two fawn. Dragon Pung, no flowers. So here, all their number tiles have no value because they have a Pung and Chows in different suits. That's why all those number tiles have no value. Their value really was with the Dragon Pung. One fawn. Let's play again. We can probably play one more game. Oh, here's an eight point table. Let's jump there. Oh, we lost somebody. Let's see if somebody else comes in. There we go. Ooh, black belt. Let's see if we can get another player. Okay, here we go. Eight, we need eight points, three fawn minimum. This will be our last game for the night. Let's see if we can get a win in here. We've got lots of dots. We're going to play half flush with dots. Nine. We do have two pair, nine bam north. If we hmm. had more pair, I would go for all Nine pump, bamboo. but because we only have two pair, I'm going to opt win. for half flush. We really have everything we need but a pair. Five bamboos. Oh, now we have three two pair. Bamboos. If we can get one more pair before we have to decide, we could maybe play three all pung. Bamboos. We could pung the six, pung the nine, pung the north, but then we'll be stuck. We do have child potential with every one of these blocks of dots. Two one, dots. two, potential chow. Five or four, six, potential chow. Eight, nine, potential chow. Potential pung with the north. Seven characters. Eight characters. So I'm thinking half flesh. We'll see. Seven bamboos. For the summer, chow. I've been thinking uh, an hour, hour and a half, but for winter months, we might go back to two hours. But I, I tend to see people dropping out Nine of the dots. live streams. Ooh, there's a one dot. We're gonna go for half flesh. We've Six gotta have bamboo. value and a half flesh is three fawn. Uh, so anyhow, the, the duration Nine of the dots. live streams used to be two hours. Chow. And during summer months, I, I kind of cut it back Nine because bamboos. I see people leaving the live stream at about an hour and a half. Seven dots. Okay, we're gonna chow. Seven, eight, nine. Chow. We're gonna take it on the edge. Now we have a potential pung with the one, potential chow with a two, four, six or dots. four, six. Either way, chow. it's weak because we're waiting for tiles in the middle. One That's called a, a closed weight or a middle weight. A side weight is better but we'll, we'll see what happens. We're gonna get rid of these bams. Five dots. Okay, we'll chow. Chow. Nine bamboos. We're ready to pung the one and Four the north. Bamboos. Now, the player across from me, I'm concerned because they have a chow in mixed suits. Seven bamboos. And they're not gonna be able to win. One bamboo. This is an eight point table, so they're not gonna be able to win this game. Eight because they mix bamboos. suits with chows. If you play at an eight-point minimum table and you chow, you need to be in one suit or one suit with honors chow. because you will not be able to win unless you have two blocks with valued honors, like your seat win Nine pung bamboos. or a dragon pung or the wind of the round pung. If you don't have those, you will not be able to win when you mix Three suits bamboos. in chows. I hope that makes sense. Basically, when I teach this game, I tell people, if you chow, you've got to be in one suit or one suit with honors. Six and and that's just kind of a, a guideline. Nine dots. Just know if you make that decision to chow, Two you're committing bamboos. to that one suit. Three bamboos. Let's get rid of, doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of the east. East wind. We're waiting to pung the north and the one, or we could chow. One character. Either way, we want this north. Three bamboos. None are out right now. The thing about honors is Four anybody characters. else at the table could be waiting for that same Three honor. Characters. They could be sitting there with a pair, Come. and it could be like a stalemate. Kind of like what characters. happened there. They had two green dragons in their Six hand. Dots. I had one. I discarded it, and they punged. Seven bamboos. There could be someone else with 
a dr green dragon green in their green hand dragons. and you can kind of sit there waiting and waiting and waiting so you've got to kind of make the decision of when to get rid of those valuable tiles and you want to try to get rid of them before the end game which is the last full Eight wall characters. of the game Two characters. i'm kind of thinking we should get rid of the south Win. Okay, we're we are Pung one away from win. ready. We need to pung any Pung one of these pairs lose. here to be ready to win. Six characters. Uh, hmm. Cipher says still learning very elementary Five rules. Dots. Okay, excellent. Welcome to the game. They are not going to be able to win. Five dots. Okay, they probably do not realize that they're playing at an eight-point table because they will not be able to win. They're waiting on a pair. Okay, we're going to pung. And we're going to discard eight dot. And we're ready to win on a two dot or north. This is called a double weight, and it's a decent weight. Neither or There's a two dot out, so maybe somebody will actually discard a two dot thinking it is safe. We got a north, so we won. We have a nice hand here, half flesh. And we do have a chow in here, two chows actually. And we have a pung. It's okay to mix chows and pungs when you're in one suit because that's a half flesh. So let's see if we can play one more game. We could probably fit in one more game. Okay, so Cypher, are you, are you uh, familiar with my YouTube channel? Because I have a lot of videos on Hong Kong Mahjong. You just have to look for the green and white thumbnail. And there are a lot of videos, a lot of videos. I publish videos for Hong Kong Mahjong on Fridays. Fridays is for Hong Kong Mahjong. Every Friday is a new video. Okay, so we need a, half, we need a score. We're playing at an eight-point table, three fawn. So let's get rid of these lesser suits. Three dot is going. Three dot. We're going to play cracks with honors. Honors are wins and dragons. So no we're good. going to focus on cracks and wins and dragons, and we're going to get rid of these offsuit tiles. Nine characters. Okay, Cypher asks, is Kong somewhat rare? No, Three no, dot. not at all. But here's the kicker about Kongs. Kong is four of a kind. And the thing about a Kong is you can Seven use that characters. fourth tile for a Chow. So sometimes people will not declare a Kong because they want to use that tile in a Chow. Eight if you declare it in a Kong, then it's locked One in. Dot. Another thing about declaring a Kong, a four of a kind, One if you dot. Pung and have three of a kind out and later you draw that fourth three tile, you, dis, you, you declare the Kong because you've drawn the fourth tile. One when you declare that Kong, if somebody is One waiting to three. win on that very tile, they can take your Kong for a win. It's One called three. robbing a Kong, and it is costly. That is a sweet Two score. Uh, let's see. I think it's only one fawn for Hong Kong Two. Mahjong. Robbing a Kong. Two yeah, it's one fawn, but it stings. So I try to hold those Kong tiles for a chow because I, oh, we're going to pung, pung, three of a kind. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the thing about Kongs. You can typically I'll try to hold the Kong tile and use it in a chow instead of declaring a Kong. For Hong Kong Mahjong, you don't get extra value for a Kong. In other versions you do, for example, with Mahjong competition rules, you can get an extra scoring element for a melded Kong. But in Hong Kong Mahjong, you don't. Now, in a private game, some groups have an immediate payout for a Kong, uh, like a quarter or something like that if you're playing for money or 25 points or what have you. So in a, in a live game, you may have a benefit for Konging, a, a, turning a Pung into a Kong or declaring a Kong if you've drawn into it concealed. Online, you Wins don't, and you actually risk Nine somebody dots. robbing a Kong, which actually happened to me in a recent video. Um, I think I called it rare element. I think I was playing Six Mahjong dangers. competition rules, so it really hurt. And um, let's see here. So not only did they rob your Kong, but I Seven believe dots. that you, you get the penalty. 
seven bamboo. So the penalty for giving it to them. I, I'm not sure if you are considered the discarder One. because in Mahjong competition rules, whoever discards a winning tile pays double value. Yes, in man. Hong Kong Mahjong, whoever discards the tile, double value. Nine so I characters. think you do get the penalty. We're going to chow, chow seven, eight, nine. Now, Sound here game. we have two potential pungs with the one and the six. Hmm. We have potential chow with the five. We do have a chow, four, five, six. Two bamboos. Uh, there's a red dragon out. Red dragon. So I hope all that yeah. helps. Kongs are not rare, but you know, you might Sound see it every game. couple games. You won't see it every game. So I guess you could three say it, it's a bit rare. Okay, we're going to discard two crack. Two we have characters. a three, four, five chow. We're ready on a double weight. One crack or six crack will give us a win. Somebody beat us to the punch. We've got, what do we have here? All chow. All chow. Self-pick, no flowers. If you have no flowers, you get a fawn for that. So that was a okay win. They self-picked for a win. We'll try to play one more game. Uh, Cypher, yep, Mahjong, it's, um, you know, it does not go fish. It is more complex than that. It's very flexible and it's very fast moving, depending on whether or not you're playing at a chicken hand table or a three fawn table. So it really depends. But if you play at a table where people are doing chows, it's a pretty fast game. But it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it very, very much. I mean, I'm passionate about Mahjong, as you can probably tell by my YouTube channel. I have, oh my goodness, how many videos do I have now? Let's see here. I launched my channel in 2000, April 2017. Okay, let's see here. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be hard. Because we have mixed suits. We have one, two. We only have two pair. We're in East seat. Oh, no. This is going to be really hard. Okay, let's get rid of the cracks. If I can click it. Three characters. Okay, let's see here. So, uh, I, I learned how to play Mahjong in 1973. So, I've been playing literally all my life. And Three characters. I've learned over the years, just by meeting people and playing in different groups, I've learned how to play, Three I don't know, probably five or six, six, seven different ways. This is our major suit. Let's chow. So we're committing to chows. We're going to get rid of the lesser suits. We're going to focus on dots. This is going to be a long road to haul. Uh, so let's see here. Videos. So I've been playing all my life and I love Mahjong. It's one of my passions. So I really want to see a revival of Mahjong in, in America. And that's why I launched my channel. And I have lots of videos, 1600 videos on my channel. So if you want to learn about Mahjong, you're in the right spot. Okay, we got a dot. Five All right, let's see here. Let me catch up on uh, on uh, East chat. East wind. East wind. Let's see here. Play against the computer. Well, yeah, you can totally play against One the computer. Character. Go to school games in Mahjong time. One there are school character. games where you can play against bots. They're called robots or bots. Seven. Uh, let's see, Marnie asks. There is there is an all Kong score. Oh yeah, that's huge. That is huge. A lot of videos, Green yes. Character. Yes, I have a lot of videos. Oh, and that's why if, if you're interested in just one version, look for the color theme because I have each version in a different color Six theme. Bamboo. Hong Kong Mahjong is green and white. Ritchie Mahjong Six. is red and white. Mahjong Competition Rules is green and purple. Uh, Wright-Patterson Mahjong Air Force Rules is green and white, but that's more like an American oh, Mahjong, so they do differentiate. Hong Kong Mahjong is almost teal in color. And then uh, American Mahjong is red, white, and blue. Two bamboos. Let's see. Long Island says you've been to lessons and most of the other ladies are older. Okay. So bamboos. let's see. We do not want bams. We want dots. 
So we're going to collect there and get rid of the bands. One bamboo. So really, mahjong is very cultural. Hmm. And it's familial, familial yeah, also. Like, I, I, my, my heritage is Filipino. I'm part Filipino. So hmm. in the Philippine culture, at least when I was growing up, only the men played mahjong. And they played for big cash yes. money. So the women did not play mahjong. Um, and so you won't see women typically playing Filipino mahjong unless it's played in the family. Then everybody will play. If, if you're in a club or a group, it's typically men playing for big money. Um, what I have learned from other versions is typically Asian versions are played by family and very close friends. For American mahjong, it's much more about um, the community. So uh, local recreation centers, local senior centers synagogues or church groups and typically those are going to be ladies of leisure people who've retired or you know maybe they have a uh, stay-at-home mom or what have you uh four dot let's let's pong hmm. i want to leave my other four dot for a chow that's why i did not kong so i could have kong there but i saved my four dot because i want to use it as a chow we're going to discard this south and play a full flush so anyhow, back to the, the culture of the game, typically Seven characters. your um, American Mahjong is mostly hmm. ladies, you know, 40 plus is, is kind of the standard demographic. That's a little redundant. Uh, let's see. Let's chow. Hmm. Oh, Pung wins over chow Seven and they will not be able to win. No, no, no. They're doing all Pung. They're okay. All Pung is three fawns, so they're okay. I thought I saw a chow over there. We still need a pair in Nine here, bamboos. but we're looking pretty good for all chow, uh, or I mean a half flesh. Um, oh. So anyhow, Richie Mahjong is typically played by men, but more and more women are playing Two in America. Characters. It is a brand, it, it's relatively new Six to bamboos. America. So Richie Mahjong or Japanese Mahjong is, is not played very much, but it is emerging. Green the most... Morgan commonly played version in America is American Mahjong using National Mahjong Nine League characters. rules. And Two then characters. after that, I think probably Hong Kong Mahjong and then Ricci Mahjong and then Mahjong competition rules, maybe. Two I hope that helps. Hmm. So if you want to learn to play Mahjong, I would One play character. the version that is commonly played in your area or you can play hong kong mahjong or maybe japanese mahjong Ricci mahjong and North start wind. there start with hong kong mahjong for the simplest entry level version North of the game if you want something more complex i would play Ricci mahjong two dots. all right two dot we'll chow with a three uh, two three four chow. and we'll discard south South wind. I was a little nervous to do that. Okay, so Marilyn says, yes, the ladies are very experienced. It is difficult for myself as a 60-year-old to enter the game. Yeah, a lot of groups are, are very closed, right, right. meaning they're so comfortable playing with each other that they won't. Oh, we got a winner. All Pung. All Pung, Dragon Pung. Very nice. All Pung, Dragon Pung, no flowers. Five fun. That was a, a good hand. So I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play. Uh, so Marilyn, as far as breaking into a community, if you are not welcomed into an established group, start your own. That's what I recommend. Or check out your local synagogue or uh, uh, Jewish community center. They usually have drop-in games, and, and you should be able to find a group to play with or start your own group. Speaking of which, if you go to Facebook and look for Mahjong That's It, that is the biggest Mahjong group on Facebook. It's primarily American Mahjong. For something a little more varied, join my Facebook group, which is Mahjong Central, and I do videos for five different versions, 
and we talk about all versions of Mahjong. If you want specifically Richie Mahjong, look for Richie Mahjong Central and La Pom, L-A-P-O-M. That's L-A as in Los Angeles, Pride of Mahjong, I believe is what that stands for, La Pom. So those are some groups that you can look for and you might be able to find a local group by going to those Facebook groups. I hope that helps and I hope that you enjoyed the live stream. I hope you learned some things about Mahjong and Hong Kong Mahjong in particular. It is a lot of fun to play. It's very flexible, more complex than poker, I think. Uh, let's see, there is a place on here, Long Island, that has a drop-in group, okay. Thanks for the live stream. Yes, thank you for coming. What I do on YouTube means nothing without viewers. So thank you for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for coming to my live streams. And don't forget to look in the video description for helpful links. You're welcome, Cypher. I hope to see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for joining me for this live stream. I'm going to sign off now. Let's see. We're playing uh, what we call Chinese Mahjong. Okay. Represents Chinese in your site. Okay, excellent, Terry. Good to hear. I call it Hong Kong Mahjong because we use Hong Kong old-style scoring, and that's what we play at Mahjong time. So I just call it Hong Kong Mahjong. And I think a lot of people call it that as well, because there are other ways to play Chinese Mahjong. There's Chinese classical, Chinese official, Chinese uh, Hong Kong new style. There are actually 40 ways or more to play this game. This is just one of them. So uh, I, I hope that you enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. And again, I couldn't do it without you. So thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I go live or when I upload a new video and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.